All right, getting close to the end now. Um, what we need to do is make sure that all these components are nice and close together to save paper. Uh, and there's a few things we need to delete. So uh, here we go. Go to the eraser or E on the keyboard and delete those two pieces. And you also need to save this twice. I'd, I'd save it as, as uh, one name and then save it as a, a different name as well. That way that you've got the original house and then you can save it afterwards as a different file name. So you've got both files ready. Um, now there's one last thing you do before you go to print, print the layout is you can grab one of the largest components of the house um, like this piece here, or you can grab the actual um, that bit there and select the entire lot hit S for scale and make sure you drag it from the corner, if you don't drag it from the corner it actually, it will, it will um, shrink it down um, in one dimension and leave it large in the other and that's going to throw all of your measurements right out. So you've got to grab it from the corner so it, it um, makes everything smaller in uh, in unison. So we're going to centre that again, zoom up again, S for scale, and probably drag it down to, I don't know, maybe 300 or something for the... Uh, for the overall length of it, and then I can click off. So, yeah, about 300 would be a good size, um, but that's up to you. So, we're going to go E for erase, get rid of that, and we have to change the view to an add this little view button here. So, as long as we've got a tick next to that, that will bring up this little toolbar up here. And we can grab the top of the house at the well take a top view of that um, the house and the second one thing we need to do is to go to camera and select parallel projection that way um, it takes all the perspective out of the picture uh, now we can go to file and Let's try to see if we go to print here. Um, all right. So first of all, you want to take off fit to page because otherwise it'd be really, really tiny. Um, use model extents. It doesn't really matter if we've got that on. What that means is that um, if there's a little bit of uh, drawing way off the page somewhere, um, it'll draw that as well. So we don't really need that. We only need to draw what we can see here. Um, and we need to grab the scale and go one to one and as soon as you click on the top one that'll show you how many pages um, now the other thing is is that at the moment it's uh, it'll be printing on A4 size if you can print on an A3 printer it's going to bring those pages way down because at the moment it's um, 21 pages now it's a bit unfortunate how it prints um, often you might get um, it prints out a little corner like, like this here and the rest of the page is just blank so it does waste a bit of paper and um, what you have to do is once you print them all together you got to work out where they all go and you have to use some sticky tape and stick those um, those pieces all back together again um, makes one big um, sheet of paper so once that's sorted that would be about as small as you can get so I'm just going to um, cancel that. Another one thing you can do is you can go to um, print preview. So I'm going to do those two again. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. Um, you can flick to the next page, see what you, how it's going to print out. Even, um, Kindly prints out some blank pages for you just to uh, waste everyone's time. And you just got to make sure that you, uh, you cut them out and stick them together. If any pages uh, come out blank, um, you can just obviously 
chuck them back in the printer when you're done. Now one thing you've got to be careful of when you go to the print here is um, in the print settings, if you go up to properties, you make sure, you know, I don't have a um, printer set up to this computer, but uh, when you go up to properties, you've got to make sure that there is, um, it's not going to double side it. If it double sides it, um, it's just going to waste, the entire paper is going to be for nothing. Um, so make sure it's uh, on single sided and you can play around with the settings if you can find a coloured um, photocopier printer obviously it's going to be um, come out a lot nicer um, once that's all sorted you can go print um, get 21 pages cut them together and I'd be uh, sticking them on using um, a glue stick sticking them onto cardboard or I've used balsa wood before um, and then you just have to assemble it piece by piece. It'd be like um, if you bought a, uh, a puzzle or some sort of a, um, a model from a model shop of a house, you just have to um, cut it out and assemble it and you'll be complete. Um, so you'd have the same sort of uh, uh, model that I showed you in the first video. Um, refer to that first video if you want to see some complete models. Alright, that's about um, all I can think of at the moment, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy making a house and putting it together, and um, now if you want to go that extra little bit, you can make um, multi-story houses or, or add uh, unique um, pieces to your houses, like in some of those models that uh, I showed you at the beginning. Okay, thanks a lot, and have a nice day.